They don't want to see me rise No They just want to see me fall When I be giving my all I'm just gonna do it my way Hey everybody, this is Mwadeeb bringing you a video on how to set up a repo for a gen add-on for the first time. So, uh, there's been some people that got together and they made a uh, repo that uh, gives you all the dependencies that gen add-ons require. Uh, and, you know, that simplifies what you need to do. And what I've done is created a template example for my repo generator uh, so that you can set up the repo generator and use that for your gen add on without having to do any editing to the templates and all that uh, and the generator you just have to fill out the configuration file set it up you're good to go all right uh, and it does include the repo uh, that's been set up for the official gen uh, dependencies so I haven't gone through done any preparation for the video uh, and the reason is uh, to show how easy it is to do this. You know, me picking up from scratch um, just helps on that. So, uh, first thing you would need to do, and I have videos on this, is uh, setting up uh, wherever you're going to have this as a host, whether it's a website URL um, for your repo, GitHub, or, or other places. Uh, so if you want you might want to check out those videos before you watch this one because they're going to show you how to completely set up your repo uh, the only difference is in this one you're going to be using a pre-made template file for the repo generator instead of configuring the one from the videos uh, so it's one step uh, less and a little bit easier and you can even follow the videos fully set it up and then put in this template and regenerate it all so I'm going to kind of show you on that alright so first thing is getting it from github alright my repo generator uh, you should already have it at this point in the video but I still want to uh, show you it here so it is part of my tools and parsers and as always the links going to be in the description below now uh, under the Cody related Python scripts um, is the repo generator all right and as you can tell four minutes ago I just uploaded this so uh, what you would do is delete in your repo generator folder the template.xml and then rename this one to just template.xml that's all there is to it um, if you've watched the videos you can see this here looks like the regular template except for this part right here Alright, this part points to the gen add-on uh, repository, the official repo for the dependencies uh, that will link them all in. So, it, once you uh, copy this in there and you run it so it creates your repo files for the very first time, it will add this in there for you automatically. Alright, if you've watched the other videos, literally that's it. You're done. Uh, you rename this to template.xml and you would be done so I'm going to close this out here and let's see here drag this over here's my my github here here's the files just like you've seen on the website uh, let me uh, copy these out real quick and let's just go down to my work drive here the the e drive where I got all my portable codies installed and we're going to make a new folder, call it test. Alright, for the sake of the video, let's pretend this here is the root folder of your repo. Alright, on GitHub or wherever you got it. So you're going to make a folder called underscore tools. You'll drop the files in there. Alright, from the GitHub. Uh, just like the other video shows. We're just going to delete template.xml rename this one to template.xml and that file is good to go so then all you have to do is configure this file the config.ini alright so you know whatever you want to name your repo we'll 
whatever you want to give the short name to it. The version number, of course the author, that would be, you know, you or a group name. Alright, so I'll put like Tantrum. The official name of the repository. Official dibs tester repo whatever you know whatever you want to call it um, of course your excludes you know that's the default um, I also include fonts when I'm doing font work in Photoshop so I, I've been adding dot OTF and dot TTF so it doesn't copy over my my font files into the zip files um, description it you know you make that again whatever you want all right and then down here file locations just to cover them again in this video for you um, this would be to wherever you're hosting it at if it's on github you would just need to change this part with your username on github and then the repo name that it's in and master that's it so for example let me see what I got here. So, for example, using the Tantrum repo, because I do uh, use the repo generator for it. Alright, this here is my username. And that's the repo name, as far as for the folders, if you look up here. So, I would just take that part, copy it out. And replace this part with that and that's all there is to it now the output path you know it's zips backslash but now remember the generator tool adds an underscore to the front of zips so it shows up at the top of the folder list and all that it's easier to keep separate so you don't have to add it here so just zips is fine all right uh, and that that's that's literally it um, if you've installed Python 2.7 one of the flavors of 2.7 and when you install it go through all the options each on each click through the wizard because you want to make sure that Python is included in your path that's very important all right so all right you got this here now literally I just dropped to the command prompt by going up here typing in CMD and uh, the address bar there and run the generator now as you know I had no zip files nothing else now it does come up and tells me you know create repository add-on because it didn't exist so since it didn't exist it's, it'll create it for me uh, so it creates that you notice it the same name and all here uh, it does tell me hey you don't have an icon or a fan art uh, and then that's it. So if I now go back to the my root folder, you're now going to see that zips folder, and you're going to see your repo folder, which is the source code for the repo. So if I open it, here is mine. If you notice, I left username and repo name the way it was. All right, and you can see that it's got it all configured. And then right below it, it includes an extension for the Gen Add-ons repo. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, it, it's very simple. Now, if you already have an existing repo and you're wanting to add this to it, all right, uh, you, you haven't had gen add-ons before, you're needing to add one. All right, that's fine. That's cool. Um, all you have to do is open your repos add-on.xml, and if you already had everything in it, uh, you can remove it or and replace it with this as far as for the gen stuff or you just add this section right here which is in the template file to your XML All right. for example uh, if you want to change out what you have I will load up my repo just to show you because it has all the stuff broken down alright so let me go to repo.tantrumtv open my add-on XML for it you notice it's got a lot linked to several different repos All right. Here's mine for the Tantrum repo. 
Here's one for Team Universal, which is the Universal Scrapers. That's part of the Gen official repo. So I could delete that one, for example. All right, this next one here, that's where it links to my, the Spotify repo. So I can leave that in there. This next one here, J Sergio, that's for Resolve URL. So we can delete that. That's part of the official Gen repo. The next one here is for Total Revolution, which is uh, the Cody uh, Python tools. So we can delete that. That's part of the official. Now, as you can see here within the extension tag, this is where I would want to add it, where the others were. So I can go back over here, copy that, put it right there. I can save that, and then I want to update my version number to like point two from point two to point three and then I push it out for my people to to have uh, and that's it that that's all it takes to replace all them entries and I might as well yeah, go ahead and do that for this video so I'm gonna update that to 1.3 and now has the new official gen repo there and it's ready for me to uh, regenerate my repo now so I'm just going to delete my zips folder make sure there's no issues go back into tools let it generate the repo it take it can take a minute um, now if you you make a lot of minor small changes over the period of a few minutes and run this a few times it gets really quick uh, where it has stuff cached uh, if not as you can see it can take it a minute Now, if you only got a few things in there, but it's lightning quick. But as you can tell, I've got more than a few things. So I'm gonna let this run here just to show you how to update your your uh, repos, uh, existing repo with it. This is really good for the, for those that have repos, you have add-ons, but this is your first gen. This is a method you would use to, to add the official gen repo to yours, push an update to your users, and then turn around and install uh, your gen in your repo. So, okay, that part's done. I can come over here, go to my GitHub desktop client, go to Tantrum Repo, Give it a moment to fully fetch everything. As you can see, it's got the new add-ons XML, the MD5. Removes the old repo, zip, adds the new one. The updated XML there and there. So, I can do a repo update. Commit. And then push it up to the server. And over the period of the next few hours, my users, as they have Kodi open, are going to start getting that updated repo. Alright, so that's all there is to it, guys. Whether it's you're doing it from scratch with the repo generator, or you're adding it to your existing uh, repo XML. Uh, the, the official gen uh, repo for dependencies. Uh, to give you everything that, that your gen would need natively. Now... There are some Cody forks out there that do not come with the built-in Cody repo. That would be the only exception. Those are very far and few in between. So if you do run into an issue after using it, uh, just join the Telegram chat, let the guys know, and uh, someone can, can look at finding out, you know, working with you to find out what's going on and get you up and running. All right. Um, that's it for this video. If y'all have any questions, uh, just let me know. We've got a ton of emails i got to get back to, guys. I haven't forgot about you. Um, it's just been crazy busy here lately. And uh, it's a holiday at work today. So I'm prob I'm on my new schedule. I'm working 10-hour shifts. Yay. So uh, I'll probably uh, try to get through some emails today if it's slow at work. Uh, catch up with you guys uh, that way. Uh, kill some of that dead time. But... Uh, as always, if you have questions, you can shoot me an email, comment below. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. Uh, 
you know, we are in the, the gin group as well. Uh, there's a lot of great guys in there. Uh, from new guys to, to older uh, people that's been in the group for a long time, worked with a lot of add-ons, a lot of gen add-ons uh, that have a lot of great experience to help people out. Uh, just remember, we all have lives. It may take us a minute to respond, um, but there's usually someone around in there, you know, where within at most a day, you know, you, you've got a lot of help coming your way uh, and people getting with you. So, you know, don't be shy. Ask and uh, get the answers you need. All right. Peace out, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a comment down below, click like in the corner, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.